Hi, it's Deanna, and today I'm going to show you this really beautiful antique Kessner doll. And she's an earlier model, and she has no mold number. So the early, early Kessner dolls did not have the three-digit mold number, and this one is one of those. And she only has the, the number eight on the back of her head. And they also were known as numerical series Kessner dolls. Kessner also made alphabet series dolls before the mold numbers came out. And so it would have a letter on the back as well. So this one is an early closed mouth. And I'll show you. She's a petite cabinet size. And look how beautiful her face is. So she has a closed mouth. And again, that denotes an earlier doll. And she has very, very thin feathered eyebrows. And again, the earlier dolls had feathered eyebrows. And they were thin. They weren't as thick as the later dolls. So let me zoom in and show you the details on her face. And as you can see, she has very pouty lips and she has very, very thick, chubby, fat, <laughs> yes, fat cheeks. So, and they're low on her face. So that's uh, showing you how early she is. Also, another thing she has is thick, bulbous glass eyes that actually are called paperweight eyes. And they're steady eyes. They do not sleep and they're stationary and they come out of the eye socket in a bulbous fashion. And earlier dolls had that as well, including the French dolls. So check out these eyes, look how beautiful they are. And uh, that is just a lovely feature of this doll. And so the closed mouth dolls, here's a little history if you're just learning about antique dolls. So when they first started making these bisque head dolls, they made them closed mouth without teeth. And then as the decades went on, they would cut a little opening in the mouth and insert teeth to make them look more realistic. Well, the early dolls did not have that, as this one does. And the later dolls had the teeth. And also around the same time they inserted the teeth into some of these dolls, the cheaper dolls did have closed mouths. But this is one of the earlier versions. And so if you ever see a doll from like the late 1890s, to the early 1900s and it has a closed mouth it was made because it was economical it was cheaper to make it that way so nonetheless this is a cabinet size Kessner and she's quite lovely and she's wearing an antique replica dress and I bought that from actually a company called doll masters and they no longer are called doll masters it's called called Florence and George and online they sell beautiful replica antique doll costumes for your dolls and some of them are a little pricey, but this one I got on sale. And sadly, it does not fit her very well. It's a little too big. And her hands, you can barely see because the sleeves are too long. So I pushed them up a little just so you can see her hands. But so when I get the proper costume for this doll, then I'll redress her. I made the hat. So I went to a craft store and I bought a little straw hat. And I applied little rhinestones, a feather, and some lace. And I wanted to give it like a little tilted type of 1870s style look. And her dress is an 1870s style. But this uh, dress is probably 10 years too early for her. And so let me turn it around and show you the back of the dress. It is actually quite pretty. Her wig is also replaced with a very high quality mohair replacement wig as her original wig went missing. And so you can see how the dress is made. This company makes exquisite, exquisite replica dresses. Really, they look almost identical to the originals and they use original antique patterns for their dresses. So this is something you would actually see a doll wearing back in that time frame. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the wig off to show you what she looks like without the wig. And so now you can see let me shine a little lamp on her face so you can see her better. And now you can really, really see her features. And again, those bulbous glass eyes. And she has applied ears. And again, that's a, another indicator. It's an early doll. So the ears were applied after she was made. And here's the back of the head with the number that was stamped to identify her. And I believe this uh, tells you the circumference of the head in German metric me measurements. Now, the reason why there is fabric inside her head 
is because I always stuff the inside of my antique doll's heads to protect the glass eyes from breaking. Now, a lot of times there's plaster of Paris holding the eyes into place of all the antique dolls. And over time with humidity in the air, the water actually melts and disintegrates that plaster of Paris. So I always protect the eyes because I don't want them to fall inside the head and break. And that stops that from happening. So nonetheless, once again, thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And stay tuned because I'll be having more antique doll videos shortly.